Welcome to this new episode of the Features Discovery of Microsoft Flight Simulator. I am Marcel Bossard, lead software engineer at Asobo Studio, and today we are going to talk about piloting and what is happening once you've seated in the cockpit. Let's start about the cockpit themselves and how realistic they can be in this new Microsoft Flight Simulator. And I'd like to start this presentation with these good old-fashioned analog instruments. All instruments have been modelized with extreme details and scripts to behave exactly as they should be in the real life. In order to do so, we have introduced new simulated data. As an example, in this DR400, we added a complete management of the electrical systems. So the needles of the battery instruments will change depending on the consumption of the electrical devices. We also added a new management of the oil pressure that now depends on the temperature. Since the flight during the night is now possible even in VFR, we have recreated the lighting system on each plane, giving the possibility to set up and dim every single light in the cockpit to mimic exactly the actual plane. Modern aircraft are equipped with very high-tech glass cockpit. We have created a completely new engine for the management and the rendering of these glass cockpits. The engines will display all the data in 2D or in 3D synthetic vision. Touch screens are now embedded in these modern airplanes. This is now fully simulated and operational. The system is now able to display real-world terrain and environment awareness. It handles the management of the flight plans that includes seats and stars for departures and arrivals. Mastering cockpits can be very challenging. In order to understand the consequences of each action, contextual cursors and tooltips will indicate how to perform actions and what will be the consequences depending on the state of the plane. We are also introducing a completely new management of the checklist. You will be able to choose the complexity of it, from manual to fully automated. This sequence can also be skipped, and the simulator will set up for you the plane as it should be at the end of this sequence. The system can highlight an instrument or a switch to show what is the next action to perform. The checklist is directly linked to the simulation, so it provides a automated feedback of each sequence completion. As a consequence, even when flying for the first time with a new plane, you will be able to start from cold and dark. about peripherals. The simulation is now bringing a complete calibration and set of tools of all the inputs. External tools are no longer needed. We also kept in mind that many of the simmers have done an incredible job for building their own cockpits. To make them keep the benefit of their hard work, simvars are going to be exposed as they were by the past and have been even extended with new functionalities. Multi-screens and windows are also supported. There is the home cockpit we've built at Osobo. It's a replica of the DF-400, a plane that we are actually piloting here in Bordeaux. This is helping us to check the quality of the simulation itself, but also the quality of its inputs. Microsoft Flight Simulator will also bring some technologies to improve the immersion. The rendering engine is the very first one of them. We have brought the new techniques of the video game industry to the world of simulation. Screen space ambient occlusions and irradiance, screen space reflections, screen space shadows on cascade shadow maps, 4K PBR materials allow us to make cockpits feel real. And this is not only a cosmetic matter. With the right position of the sun and the accurate weather system, the lighting in the cockpit will reproduce the exact same flight conditions that you would get in real life in the same time. This is modifying the readability of the instrument that can sometimes be difficult to read. We have used a lot of references to create our cockpits. We add an access to the actual planes to perform some photos and video captures. We are using the very last techniques of scanning and some manufacturers have even given us some cat files. The sound is also a very important input when flying. In order to have a great simulation, we have introduced a completely new scripting system based on WISE. This system ties the simulation data to the sound banks and is using a real-time DSP to modulate the sound to make it match the plane parameters. As for the rendering, we had an access to planes and a dedicated team here at Asobo did recording of every single sound in high fidelity. In addition to this, we have created a new dynamic camera that brings physicality to the scene. This camera reads every single reaction of the planes to simulate the pilot's head movements. This gives a better understanding on how the plane behaves. 
So you can feel the consequences of your actions, understand the environments like winds or the variation or the density of the air, but also any kind of mechanical events like buffeting or fluttering when the plane is at its limits and when the pilot needs to act quickly. This camera is feeling the needs for pilots to feel physically natural in a cockpit. To conclude, what are the highlights of these presentations? Microsoft Flight Simulator will provide realistic cockpits, a new glass cockpit engine with touchscreens, a new checklist system tied to the simulations with an assistance, immersive lighting, audio, and camera engines. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please stay tuned on Microsoft Flight Simulator website for any further information.